Hey guys, Chanel here today and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because we are talking about something that is super important and that is going to be about voting. I honestly cannot believe that we are here again. It's like the day is getting closer and closer to deciding who is going to be the next president of the United States of America. Now at this point, I'm pretty sure many of us are aware of who the Democratic pick is and the Republican pick will be for the election ballot. But here is my question for you guys. Are you actually aware of who is a third party candidate in the election for your state? No, honestly, that was a real question. Are you aware? That's kind of what I thought. Now with all the information that has been fed to us up until these coming moments, I cannot begin to express why it is so important for you to get out there and vote this year, as well as to be informed of who is on the ballot for the United States presidential election. Now I live in the state of New York. Hey, New York in the house. So I'm aware that Brock Pierce has actually started an independent movement that focuses more about choices. Other than just letting people know like this is Republican, this is Democratic, there are so many more choices out there when it comes to voting this year. If you guys would like some more information about Brock Pierce, as well as all of his efforts in his independent movement, be sure to click the link down below in the description box. So now that we got that information out the way, I want to bring it back a little bit and let's talk about all the information about voting. Now, the first step to voting would be to actually start the registration process. And I hope and pray that you guys have already done this because unfortunately and that deadline has already passed. But hey, let's say if you did not get a chance to actually get out there and register before the deadline, I'll leave all the information down below in my description box so that you can get registered and be prepared for the next election. Now let's talk about voting early. Yes, executing our rights earlier than election day. Now, I honestly believe that having the ability to vote early is awesome. And it's important to mention that counties must, 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 must make this available from October 1st all the way up until November 1st. So if you were not aware of this information in the past, it's a good idea to check with your local election officials just so that they can let you know about the schedules as well as the locations that are available to do this in your area. Now let's talk about requesting and submitting absentee ballots. Now you don't need me to let you guys know that things are very, very different this year, especially consider Miss Rona is all around and among us. Thankfully, even with everything that's going around in the pandemic, if you still want to exercise your right to vote, you can do this by requesting an absentee ballot. There are two ways that you're able to submit your absentee ballots. And the first one would be to take the social distancing route. You can do that by turning it into a mailbox or just dropping it in there. And of course, option two, this one is for most of my sticklers. I want to make sure that their ballots are going to the right person. You can do this by submitting your ballot in person into a ballot drop box. These will usually be found in your local election office or any type of polling place that is in your area. Now this leads us into the third way of voting and this is by doing it the old fashioned way and that is by showing up in person on election day. Now I am totally on board with showing up on election day and executing your right to vote. But guys, please be in mind that we are still in a pandemic and you wanna make sure that you are taking precautions to keep you as well as other voters safe on election day. Now the CDC, which is a center for disease control, recommends actually preparing a kit prior to election day. And they say that your kit should include some of the things like uh, extra facial masks, just in case you may need one, yours may get wet, it could get dirty, drop on the floor bring up the backup mask. They also believe that you should have uh, tissues in there, hand sanitizer, water, your own writing tools so that you're not sharing, as well as your own forms and ballots. Me personally, I would be a little extra cautious. I would even throw in some disposable gloves just to make sure that I can just do away with anything that I may have touched and get a new pair of gloves on. That's, that's just me. And of course, you wanna make sure that you are continuing to follow the guidelines for social distancing. Be sure to maintain at least six feet of distance between you and other people. And guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get closer for this one. Wear your mask. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this or this. No. See, there's no openings here. This is the only way to ensure that you are wearing your mask correctly. Wear your mask like this. Thank you. 
Please be sure to check out Brock Pierce's efforts in his independent movement of showing voters that there are more choices out there. And of course, guys, please be safe either away or at the polls. This election is super important to many of us. And guys, please remember that voting is 100% more effective than complaining on the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, you guys know I will see you in another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.